And I said, if I have 25 years left in this life, what do I want to do with it? I do not want to die a lawyer. And I don't want to die sad. And I don't want to die overwhelmed. And my mom was looking back at her life, not at the things that she had done, but at the things that she had not done. That was a wake up call. My question to you today is what have you have not done? When you are laying in bed at night or at the end of your life, will you look back and say, I took every opportunity. I stopped caring what people said. I stopped caring what people thought. I did it wrong and I don't care. Because if we don't get to that point, nothing I say right now will matter. This grounding is life is short. What are you gonna do with your one wild and beautiful life? My husband asked me, my brand new husband, we've been married three weeks. I got a letter to go back to UCLA and I said, I don't wanna go. And he asked me if you could do one thing for the rest of your life and be happy, what would it be? I wanna be a photographer. And I asked my husband, the business is taking off. I need to get help. Do you wanna help me? A girl who's had a camera a year and a half turns to her husband, business partner, and says, we can do this, right? Let me get you a camera and we'll just teach ourselves. By 2009, I was voted one of the top wedding photographers in the world. And 2010, most influential photographers, 2012, most socially influential photographers. And I do not bring this up as a humble brag. I bring this up as testament and proof that you do not have to be good at what you do. Do I want you to be? Yes, I want you to be the best. But let's just have a real conversation. How many of you know, like when you're going to your feed, she's not even that good. How, right? Like how? People were saying the same thing. How did that happen? Why you? You were unqualified, you were underfunded, you were unconnected, you were uneducated. I was all those things and I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Success on Instagram and success in your chair and success in the studio go simply to those who show up. That's it. That's it. When I see new stylists who are unwilling to go and sit in a chair waiting for a walk-in, you don't want it bad enough. That's just facts. Success goes to those who show up when nobody's there. Success goes to those who open the door and close it there at night. That's who success goes to. So on that frame, we're gonna go in, we're gonna start talking about what really happened. I started using social media with a plan and with a strategy. And this strategy revolutionized my growth. I was like, oh, I got tired of being on Instagram and I started using Instagram. So what's the difference? Being on Instagram is like posting like twice a week or like whenever you feel like it. But then all of a sudden you go on your one holiday to Cabo and it's like 16 posts in a row and you're just like feeling yourself after your juice cleanse. You're like, oh my God, life is so great. Cabo's dancing, yay. And then you go back and then there's nothing. You're just on Instagram. You just got an account. Those who use Instagram show up day in, day out with a message to share, with their stuff to show, and to say, this is who I am. Do you want to spend some time with me behind the chair? That is using Instagram. So I started teaching people these strategies, and then they saw similar results, and I was like, oh, something's going on here. So much so that USA Today started featuring my work and my insights into Instagram. Am I an influencer? No. Do I know what I'm talking about? No. Did I go to Harvard and get a degree in Instagram? No. I just talked a lot. I just did the work. I just created content that started getting picked up in places like Forbes and getting interviewed on MSNBC. Success goes to not those who are talented, but to those who show up.